Hey there guys, music fan here. How you guys doing? Uh, just gonna, I just want to go on a very quick uh, song review, and this is for the latest song from Chuck Berry, King of Rock and Roll, uh, called Big Boys. It is the first single coming out from his up-and-coming, I believe, 18th studio album, I think. Uh, he, has a, he has a lot of albums, man. Uh, is going to see release around June 16th of this year in the summer. Yeah, this is the first the first up and coming album album from uh, from Chuck Berry since since his last album, which I think was 1978, I think or or 79. I don't exactly remember. It's a long time. And this is the first single from it, uh, Big Boys. Uh, apparently, this this song is about. It's about a teenager wanting to do uh, all the things that grown-ups do, you know, and it's a very upbeat, catchy tune, and honestly, it's very Chuck Berry, all the the harmonization in, in the verses and and the chorus, you know, all, you know, the, the rocking and rolling, you know, it's a very, very, uh, it's a very rock and roll kind of song, and honestly, I I love it, honestly, like, I really love it. It just it's just so odd how the last two years I got I dived into Chuck Berry's work and only now this song appears uh, and yeah this is this is such an upbeat track you know like it's it's very evocative of uh, of everything Chuck Berry has done because he's because he he never really changed his sound at all he didn't alter his rock and roll sound to try and to fit into any trend that was going on during the day uh, of any decade from from when he first debuted with uh, Maybelline and and, uh, and yeah this this track it's just fun it's just a really fun typical rock and roll track and I mean typical in in the most positive way like Everything is here from the, from the very bluesy piano, you know, the drums, the bass, and uh, and he's singing with his daughter uh, Ingrid Berry. Uh, I think if there's any if there's any problem I would have with this song because I don't have that much problems with with this track, but if I have to nitpick, uh, I would say in the chorus of this track. Um, there's too many yeses in the in in the in the in the chorus of this song. At least I feel um, it doesn't necessarily detract from the my enjoyment, my pleasure of this of this song. But sometimes when the chorus does come in, it, it just kind of and and you know you know a lot of yes yes yeses in in, in the chorus. I kind of feel. It's uh, I don't know it's a it's a little bit iffy you know I kind of feel like you know maybe a little bit of like tw uh, tweaking around with the with the chorus a little bit maybe would have been a little bit better but what can I say uh, again it doesn't detract anything from the song for me it's still a very awesome song uh, it's just it's very self-explanatory like I mean. Like I mean, Chuck Berry singing from a viewpoint of a of a teenager, you know, who sees all the fantastic things that grown ups are doing, and he feels inspired to want it, wanting to up to to do everything that you know his adult um, uh, grown ups uh, are doing, you know, and it's kind of it, it comes from a very innocent point of view, uh, ironically coming. From Chuck Berry, who at this point I believe is, is like 90, 93 or ninety two. Again, I I don't have my sources right now, but clearly in his nineties, and uh, you know, yeah, I I love this song actually. You know, like apart from the the little small little nitpick that I have, it's not something that I'm. That nitpick is is not big enough to the point where I don't enjoy this song, you know, absolutely not. Like I mean, this song is is just the straight up a rock and roll tune. It's a fun rock and roll tune, and it's a song that 
you know, despite that small little small little nitpick, um, it's still just a just a fantastic, such a rock and roll kind of song that is pure rock and roll. There's nothing. There's no electronics. There's nothing very different. I mean, Chuck was not trying to reinvent the wheel per se of his, of his style. Like, I mean, he had. He had, he had the resources, and I think he would have the at his disposal to do that. But he chose not to do that, just to kind of you know stay true to his to his love for rock and roll music. And I think that that it was extremely commendable of, of how he took like a huge stance on that and just kind of made his mark on it. And he was the one who started everything, who who really coined the term rock and roll, even though he didn't, well, in typical Barry fashion, he would say like, I've read in, 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 in interviews, you know, like, you know, we have all these other rock and roll people doing crazy stuff, you know, but we all know who did it best. <laughs> That's a very Chuck Berry thing to say, but that was him. And he was pure to form, no BS, just him and his guitar, and that's that's it. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about this song. I mean, I mean, apart from that small little nitpick, I still enjoy it. Like, I really enjoy it a lot. It's just, and it's such a fitting song to go out um, now that he passed away last last month, and they had his his funeral. But God bless to Mr. Chuck Berry, because without him. The art form that I personally personally hold dear to my to my own heart would not exist in the way that it is now. Um, of course, that's debatable, but that's for another video. Yeah, uh, comments. Leave your comments on the comments section. Tell me what you think of this song. Do you do you do you like the song? Do you not like the song? How come? Uh, for either of those answers, and. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. Uh, Chuck Berry, rest in peace, big boys. The upcoming album, Chuck. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.